Sam was still angry at having lost a teammate. This woman just didn't cut it. It didn't matter that he didn't know her, she just wasn't good enough for him. Plus Sam always messed up in front of pretty ladies. My god, Fisher, have you gone insane? The mission's over. Let's rewind that and try that again. Sam ran off to commence another risky operation, but didn't know the way. The woman watched as Sam failed at what was probably a simple task. She just stood there, so high and mighty. What right did she have to judge Sam after all he's been through? Take that, judgmental lady. It didn't help. He continued to flounder like a person who didn't have a clue about what he was doing until he discovered the wall he was meant to jump over. It would all be plain sailing from here on in. The way forward was clearly signposted and the guard in plain view. Sam would simply be able to waltz in, knock out the guards and... Oh, looks like the difficulty's been ramped up a bit for this mission. The first guard walked into a nice dark area for Sam. However, Sam approached the corner where the second guard stood, only to find that it was empty. He got that awkward feeling you tend to get when they're behind you, wondering what the hell you're doing. Somehow Sam remained hidden, he made easy work of the second guard as well. He could probably just have crept right past the guard, but why risk a rear assault if you can punch them in the face? Sam felt like Batman as he snuck onto the first floor of the damaged building. Unfortunately for Sam, these guys weren't completely stupid and must have wondered what those three green circles were. Finally, it's almost a shame to waste these guards. Sam found his window of opportunity and it went perfectly as he wiped the guy out with his super BO action. The second guard got suspicious but Sam's trusty sticky camera saved the day. But it wasn't over. A third man came to inspect the place and Sam's sticky cameras failed. Unlucky Sam. Looks like those devices have met their match. I can't be bothered to show it, but Sam beat the first two guards in an arm wrestling competition and proved that his sticky cameras were still of use against the third guy. And while in this hellish place, Sam looked up and realised how beautiful the world was. That sky could be in Skyrim. Oh Moon, you had to spoil it all, didn't you? Here, have some bullets. It's not as though Sam can use them on this mission anyway. Probably best he doesn't have any. The next area had a convenient dark strip across the middle, so Sam happily skipped across shot out the lights and headed down into the sewers. Surely there wouldn't be anybody down here. Immediately he found his way blocked by three armed men. I've come this far. Ah, <laughs> come. Sam gradually picked them off as they walked down the passage in the same slow, blocking fashion as people do in supermarkets. Fortunately Sam was able to deal out justice to these offenders. Not sure why there's a medic kit down here, or if I trust its contents, but YOLO! Sam reached what looks to be like a place in City 17 and used his sticky camera for its actual purpose for ugh, the second time ever. Oh, and the heat vision looks so much better on these cameras. Sam picked off another guard in a horrific sticky camera barrage before finding an exit from this terrible place. Out of the sewer and into the metaphorical backside of this city. But Sam had a plan. And yes, it involved punching people. No you didn't, nothing to see here. Oh, so shooting insane. isn't allowed. You'd think they'd teach that in schools or something. Sam was aware that this is how perpetual cycles begin, but this wasn't to be the case as Sam and his sticky cameras were betrayed by cloth physics. Who would have thought it? That wasn't his fault, honest. Two fire buttons are too complicated for Sam. Can't be bothered to show this either, but Sam beat them in an all-you-can-eat competition. They collapsed exhausted, and Sam continued his quest. After hiding the bodies, of course, and somehow they were still alive. What kind of person chucks unconscious folk into a sewer? Somebody sick and twisted, that's who. Sam climbed to the rooftop to have a top-secret meeting with some guy. They went to great lengths to make it look inconspicuous. It's a bright, cold day in April. Good, good. Take this, okay? After that little meeting, he found the brightest, glowiest sign in the whole city and abseiled down in front of it. The only reason I can see for doing this is to have a picture that isn't completely black to put on the back of the CD case. It's sad to slowly see all of those clips from those places in the game. It's as though you're nearing the end credits of a good film. Though Sam still has a lot to do. In the next Splinter Cell, Sam fights back against his low wages by deliberately messing up super important mission objectives. But will head office notice?